What is going on, fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here, and hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Hopefully me uploading has made your day just a little bit better because me being back on this channel makes me so happy inside. I'm happy to be here with you guys. Now, with all that said, there is something you need to know about going on in Red Dead Online that many of you guys may not be aware about. Now, as you guys know, with every single game that ever comes out, there's always issues. Now, this whole week, we've talked about issues in Red Dead Online, and I talked about some specific issues two days ago when I loaded up a Red Dead Online lobby and heard like a military barrage of missiles behind me. I went to go investigate, and awkwardly enough, there was nothing around. We ended up finding a random hat on the, ra on the ground, I became a Sherlock Holmes for a second, and then lo and behold, I could not find any more information on what the heck was going on until I started getting messages from you guys that there is some really, really big problems in the Red Dead Online PC community that I've never even known about. So in GTA 5 Online, I gotta give you guys a backstory. There was always a lot of problems with modding community in console and on the PC. In Red Dead Online, we have now run into issues as well. Red Dead Online has always been a game that was pretty modder free hacks and things of those nature were really a big problem until this year 2020 apparently is the year of absolute destruction because there's some seriously wrong things happening in red dead line first things first you guys need to be aware of how to protect yourselves when things like this happen and the first thing you need to know is that sometimes reporting the issue may not be the best route and i'll tell you guys why here in a bit so First things first, there is a video uploaded by a Zertical. Uh, Zertical, yeah, that's his name. A uh, Zertical uploaded a video where a modder on PC was robbing him of his cash. That's right. Imagine you've played G you've played Red Dead Online for months, a year now. You've been grinding away at earning cash to buy your next horse, to buy some nice clothing, whatever the case may be. You let open to Red Dead Online one day and boom, your cash is disappearing from your pocket every second one dollar is removed that's right as you guys can see on screen right now this is the problem he ran into constantly a modder was just robbing him of one dollar using the camp upkeep fee as a way to drain his money that is crazy i'd be so pissed and the one thing you can do to prevent this from happening well i guess two things the first thing is pray pray to whoever you pray to that you don't get into a lobby like this Number two, if it does start happening and your prayers weren't like fulfilled, then you need to leave that lobby right away. Get the heck out of there. Just quickest, turn off your everything. Just turn off, just get the heck out of there because you will be robbed. Everything you've ever worked for, all your money gone in seconds. So get out of there, but you don't lose your money. Now that may seem like probably a pretty big problem, right? Like, oh my God, all my money draining from me. That is a problem, but it's not the only problem in Red Dead Online. Once I started looking for other issues Red Dead Online players were having, oh my god, I opened Pandora's box. There was so much stuff, so check this out. This next clip I have is from PC Gamer. Now, PC Gamer uploaded a clip that showcases a hacker on PC. Now, this guy was just chilling, cleaning his carbon repeater, nothing wrong in the day, and then all of a sudden, he started to see random explosions now i started realizing okay there is something definitely not normal about this obviously your character unless he had some beans and having explosive diarrhea this should not be a thing he should not just be that just shouldn't be a thing and it turns out there's this guy in game wizard whatever his name is some wizard was blowing him up constantly now there's no real explanation for why this guy's doing it if you guys don't know hackers modders cheaters they get enjoyment out of other people's misery i don't understand it maybe they like get off to it i don't know but there's something seriously wrong with people that go out of their way to ruin other people's experiences this guy was just having trying to have a nice day and clearly he was just having his day ruined by this wizard guy now the wizard guy just ends up killing him over and over and over and this individual is very close to proximity to him and it looks like he can only do it when he's in a certain distance from him is what i first thought and then i started realizing okay wait a minute this wizard guy can probably kill everybody in the lobby any distance they are and then towards the end of this clip you see that uh the player that was getting griefed ends up going closer to the wizard guy and he finds out that the wizard guy is also invulnerable he can't die nothing he does to him will kill him 
like the guy is just invulnerable and when he tackles him to go ahead and try to take him out you'll notice that the player ends up just disappearing completely he ends up teleporting to another player in the game that is insane the fact that he can just teleport away what the heck that's crazy if that ever happens to you and you know someone's killing you right in front of you it's that person report it like this guy just did Moving on to the next step, we have something even a little crazier. Now, like I just mentioned, I try to give you guys exact examples of, hey, if you know this is the person doing it, then you should do that. Because this next clip showcases someone getting griefed by a hacker. Now, what this problem occurs is a hacker takes your name. Let's say your name is Crazy Gary. He takes your name and then he starts killing people in your name. What that does, it makes the other players in the lobby believe that you're the one killing them. When in reality, it's someone framing you. This guy, as you guys can see from the footage, is getting framed for the kills. Like, people are getting killed by him, and he's not doing anything. He's just standing there. So he teleports everyone to him, right? And then he kills everyone around him as if he's the one that's hacking. But he's not. He's not the one doing it. So it's insane. I, I don't know, like how this could happen i don't know what to, how you would even stop this issue besides leaving the lobby there really isn't any other way uh to fix this you just gotta leave the lobby so this has become a problem of red dead online where people are getting killed by people and to be fair this guy is getting some xp so it is a it is a pretty good deal i think sort of not really he's getting some very little uh xp but overall it sucks for him because if enough people uh like report him and he can get banned and he didn't even do anything so just be careful who you report make sure they're the ones actually killing you i i know rockstar will eventually find a fix just be very careful in how you go about handling these situations the best thing to do is just get out of there but we're not done it gets worse you may be like Garrett, how can it get worse this one isn't too bad i think it's actually pretty cool comparatively to the other stuff but this one's very interesting now there is an easter egg in red that align big thanks to triggerfish gaming's gameplay for this as well as uh thomas h thomas h and triggerfish gaming have gameplay that showcase two-headed skeletons that's right i i don't even know how to explain to you guys that this is real but someone decided to mod in red that align and in doing so instead of killing people and causing absolute havoc they decided to spawn in two-headed skeletons now you may be like, Garrett, that's not that harmless. It's not that big of a deal. It really isn't that big of a deal. It's also pretty cool, I think, comparative to the other things. But the two-headed skeletons can be really annoying, especially if the hacker changes his player model into the two-headed skeleton and is invulnerable and just kills you over and over and over. So this is one of the things happening. A player is modding the two-headed skeleton in as an NPC, making that NPC invulnerable to any attacks or damage in doing so, it makes it attack a player, thus the player can't kill the skeleton, so the skeleton infinitely just keeps killing you. Now, that for, for like the first time it happens, it sounds cool, but after a while, it's like, oh my god, this freaking skeleton will not leave me alone. But Triggerfish Gaming somehow ended up making it so that he was just carrying around a skeleton. I don't understand, but they ended up finding the skeleton on a bridge, ended up lassoing said skeleton, and uh, the rest is history. He ends up taking the skeleton as a pet. Now, I don't know how that skeleton got there. The only thing I can assume is that a skeleton was spawned in on a player that was standing in that area. Once that skeleton spawned in, the player left the lobby or died. The skeleton just remained there from that point on. And then this guy, Triggerfish, ended up finding the skeleton. That's the only thing I can think of. Thus, he ends up having a pet skeleton and takes him around everywhere and they just have skeletons in the back of their horse. That's like, that's the only thing that makes sense. And even saying that sounds crazy. The last clip we have is of J-Man DX. Um, and he's just constantly getting killed by a hacker. Like literally for 15 minutes straight, this guy just gets killed. I don't know why he stayed in the lobby for 15 minutes. All links can be found down below. This guy just stayed in the lobby for 15 minutes getting killed by the same hacker over and over and over and over and it's miserable so i want to thank you guys so much for the support hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of what's going on in red dead online hopefully rockstar is fixing these problems because from what i hear it's a little bad i think most of the modding and hacking issues were addressed uh early february 
but I'm not 100% sure on that. Let me know if you guys have run into any of these issues down in the comment section. Be careful with the camp upkeep robbing method, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Bye, guys. Bye.